Hi everyone, this is the another example on finding the probability of sample mean C. See the statement, a normal population has a mean of 0 0.1, nothing but this is the population mean mu and the standard deviation of 2.1, it, it would be represented by sigma. Find the probability that the mean of the mean of sample is represented by x bar. So we have to find out probability of x bar of size 900. So sample size is represented by n. It would be given as 900. Will be negative. Negative means less than 0. So we have to find out probability of x bar is less than 0. Okay. Here a population is given to you. Whose mean is 0 0.1. And standard deviation is. 2.1 okay a sample is given to you with the size 900 900 observations are there in this sample so the sample mean x bar may be surroundings of 0 0.1 there is a chance that x bar is lies that lies above 0 0.1 otherwise less than of 0 0.1 here particularly he asked that what is the chance nothing but what is the probability that x bar value is less than 0 it may be negative okay so first of all we have to write the given data given that first write the sample size sample size is always represented with the letter small n don't forget it and population mean is given to you Population mean is nothing but mu. It would be 0 0.1. And uh, population standard deviation is given to you. Which is represented by sigma. Which is 2.1. Okay. In general, uh, standard deviation does not cross the population mean. Sometimes it crosses population mean mu. Okay. We have to find... We have to find probability that the sample mean x bar will be negative nothing but less than 0 so we know that what is the standard normal variate z x bar minus mu by sigma by root n according to the central limit theorem okay see at this end point of x bar we have only one end point for x bar at this end point, you should find out the z value 0 minus what is mu? 0 0.1 by 2.1 division root n. What is root n? Root over 900, it would be 30. So, 21 by 30. So, it is nothing but minus 0 0.1. Shift this denominator, denominator to numerator by 2.1. So, it is negative. So, 0.1 into 30, division 2.1. I got 1.428. Since third decimal place is 8, it is more than 5. You can take 3 instead of 2 for the second decimal place. So, minus 1.43. Otherwise, if you don't want to correct the third, uh, second decimal place, you can take only 1.42. No problem. Okay, so required probability becomes, what is the required probability? Probability of x bar is less than 0 becomes area, probability becomes area and x bar becomes z and uh, 0 becomes negative 1.43. So less than minus 1.43. So it means that we have to find out the area under the normal curve which is less than the one, negative 1.43. So draw the normal curve. So this is z is equal to 0. You may take here z is equal to minus 1.43. So since it has less than symbol, you should shade this left side area. If it is greater than, you can shade right side area instead of left side. So we have to find out this small area. How can we find out this small area? So 
we know the entire left side area as 0 0.5 either left side area otherwise the entire right side area is 0 0.5 you know it so from entire left side area you should subtract this small area what is this small area from 0 to negative 1.43 okay I am subtracting from entire left side area and the this pink shade area so you will get this small area okay so minus what is area from minus 1.43 to 0 okay see I will use the table for 1.43 area you can move to row wise up to 1.4 move to 1.4 see this is 1.4 and the second decimal place is 3 look at here here we have 3 so this one 0 0.4236 okay so we have to subtract this area from 0 0.5 Okay, see here 0.5 minus 0 0.4236. I got 0 0.0764. This is the required probability that sample mean x bar is negative. Okay, in the next video, I will give some more examples on this model. Thank you.